point when we brought Bo home that um, it hit me and the realization that there was such a deficit in her life of knowing who she was, her identity. It was like a, a big vacuum, a big void space. Uh, she had a name, a new name, but there wasn't much inside of there as far as her identity. And I uh, was reminded of, of Psalm 139 where it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. And when I think of God's works, his creation, he's thinking of us, that we're wonderful. And she needs to be reminded of that. And so um, as her daddy, uh, every single night, um, I wanted to, her to say, and I wanted to look her right in the eye and have her look me in the eye and repeat these words after me, that I'm wonderful, I'm beautiful, I'm kind, and I'm important. And it's, um, it's amazing to see how as those words go forth and I pronounce those words over her and I bless her as my, my daughter, um, those are irrefutable, no different than gravity. Um, it's like she is beautifully and wonderfully made. And as she lives in that identity, you can see her confidence and um, it's like water pouring, uh, pouring water on a plant and then watching that plant grow and then this blossom, this bloom coming forth and you see the colors and the beauty of, of her blooming is, is uh, a direct result of her knowing who she is mm -hmm. and living that truth. And it's so amazing too because she doesn't have necessarily a long history. Um, she just believes mm -hmm. that she is beautiful that she's important. Uh, and I continue to add more words to it that <laughs> she can say, uh, uh, I'm kind, I'm, I'm grateful, um, I'm giving, I'm thoughtful, uh, because she is all of those things. And I see those things in her as her, her daddy, as her, her papa, that she is all of those things. And, um, and we're, honing uh, away at the rough rocks around that. It's the diamond in that rough. And I see those things coming forth as she grows into uh, and is comfortable with the idea that she is all of those things. Those are the truth in her life. Those are the things that are true. And, uh, and any thoughts that are contrary to that are, are untruths. Um, and so we want her to live in truth, uh, that she is beautiful, that she's kind, that she's important. Um, and that she is awesome, that she's fearfully and wonderfully made, and that God has a purpose and a plan for her life, and that God is working on her behalf uh, to take all of those things that were meant for her harm and turning it into something very beautiful. And she's a girl that has so much courage and so much bravery um, that is in that little, that little body of hers. Mm -hmm. and. God is doing something with her and she needs me. She needs her mommy and her daddy to, to remind her why she was made and why she was put on this earth and why these things happened to her and that they were, were made with a, um, and the things that happened to her were, were not done to her by God, but God is using those things to redeem the day, to bring her out and use those very things to, to, um, provide leverage, a lever for her to, to create something beautiful out of, to share the beauty that's in her, and rather than cause those things to, to be a weight on her and create bitterness in her and to be a heaviness for her. Those, those things are the very things that are launching her into her life, launching her into her future. Um, and God amazingly uses those very things uh, that we could say, oh, isn't that horrible? Isn't that terrible being, being left in a park at age six months and not able to fend for yourself? God is using those very things to give her this life with us. And he's blessing us through that. He's blessing uh, her little uh, brother with, with this life that she's, she's been given. And so that is revelatory for me. I mean, I think of the things in my life, if when things go wrong, uh, whether it's from the hand of other people or my own uh, foolish choices, they, God is redeeming those things and He's making them good. And I'm knowing Him 
uh, as Redeemer because of that. Because of Bo, I'm knowing God as the Redeemer, the one who takes the, those things and he changes them and he makes them into something good. That's God's character and his, his nature and we've learned that by having Bo in our life. Mm -hmm.